um, the easier your requirements are in terms of scalability, performance, users, uh, simultaneous users, um, the more I personally tend to um, a monolithic architecture um, because it's still easier to develop, uh, in particular if you stick to enterprise Java. I can quote an example. Istio, a popular open source project for implementing service mesh in Kubernetes, started its control plane as microservice, but then they revert back and they went into a monolith. So it was too complicated managing that complexity with microservices that they went back into a, a, a monolith. The stateful application itself on Kubernetes um, comes with a lot of challenges, um, in particular, if you put something stateful on something stateless in general. Having a book like this structured is speeding up the learning curve, always sticking to open source that are like maintained by a strong communities is a great advantage. I think Java adapted itself in, in the years to many programming models. Historically for the uh, object-oriented programming model, now also went into, you know, the reactive model, uh, also the function model. So uh, you have definitely the choice in Java, as a Java developer to pick the right approach, programming approach for you. And the frameworks also help you very much. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.